King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I buy King Carter, King Carter. We all know what needs to happen. We play our game and take what's ours. Okay? Let's do this. And those are exactly the kind of words you expect to hear coming from him. Yo, what's going on team IKC? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Quarterfinals game four. Let's get into the movie, man. Let's start it off with Blake Griffin himself. Hey Chris, you ready? Come on, Jameson, let's do this. Hey, what's going on, bro? Hey iPod, what's going on, bro? Hey, what's up, Reed? Come on, you ready to do this, Ant? Let's tip off. Now, something real quick before we hop into this complex video, guys. Donald Sterling has been banned from the NBA for life. And he also got a $2.5 million fine, but that's nothing, really. Nothing at all. But this is a crazy, incredible game. Um, I decided to do a couple of mic'd up things with Blake Griffin. So you're going to see a few things throughout the video. Let's check it out. Hey, 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 Chris. Don't worry about it, baby. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's only 4-2. Hey Matt, keep your head in the game. Keep your keep your head in the game, man. Don't worry about it. Now it's 17:20 and Pargo is really picking me apart. I'm not even gonna lie about that. But I come in to get the nice little rebound here. Now I'm gonna slow it down because I feel like you know what? I don't have to rush this game. You know we're up 3-0 and look at that monstrous dunk. Mm, mm, mm. I should have deserved a replay for that. Real rap. There's no reason I didn't get a replay for that. But check out Pargo putting on the moves. I'm gonna let you guys know this right now. He was torching me, Drew Holiday, uh, Roberts. He was he was torching every point guard that stepped up to him. But look, I'm going to come down and repay the favor. Now, of course, I'm not going to go in for no little cheesy layup. I'm going to go in for something so much better with a nice backhand. So, oh, my God. If Blake Griffin was on the court, he would say, guys, what were you thinking? But uh, that was a beautiful reverse dunk right there, man. Hey, guys, this is the start of the second quarter. Let's keep a cool head. We can come out and take over this quarter, man. We need to pull away, guys. Let's see what we got. Now, it's 26 to 25. It's a very close game starting out. Now, I will say this. Hall of Fame always keeps it close. But here, I'm going to try to be the team that pulls away. I don't know what Blake Griffin was thinking. But look at Blake in the post getting a foul. Look at that. Hey, how's it feel? You all right over there, bro? Yeah, that was nice, right, Matt? Hey, man, these dudes can't hold me, baby. Let's do this, man. We got this. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody get to their spots, man. We don't need them calling the delay on us, man. All right. Come on, ref. Give me the ball, baby. I'm ready. Come on, ref. What's taking you so long? There you go. All right, let's see. Got this one. I got this one. Come on. All right, what's up? Nailed it, baby. Hey, I will have to tell you guys, I'm having so much fun with these clips. But hey, what's a playoff game without something miraculous? Look what I do to Blake Griffin here. Oh my God. If he would have been in the way, I guarantee I would have jumped over him. Like, he probably would have had the scare face on. That was a crazy dunk. But the game is still close. I'm just trying to do everything I can to get my team going. Now we're about to run a nice little pick and roll here. And Anthony Davis is going to cut to the basket. And oh my God. <laughs> That's what we do. I wish we had the animations at the park. Like, just imagine if he would have threw it behind his back between his legs 360 alley -oop. That would have been crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I do love my pick and rolls. You guys can't fault me for that. Now, I do try to pass it out to Thomas. I notice he's not a three-point shooter. So I give the little hezzy and, oh, man. Did I just embarrass him right there? Like, I ain't put, no, I ain't put my balls in nobody's face, did I? Hold on. Check the cam. Check the cam. Now, I ain't put my balls in nobody's face, but I did I did put him on a poster. He's just going to have to eat that one, man. Ain't nothing I could do about it. You know, but the Clippers do trail by seven. And I'm starting to take a little commanding lead here. And Pargo doesn't give two shits who I am. First of all, he's four for six. He has nine points. It's the second quarter. I know people probably like, man, nine points, that's nothing. Just see what he does to me. Now, I do come back down to get a three-point shot. I do what I do, and I get swaggy on him down the court. But check this. I swear for God, I think Blake Griffin put our coach on a poster during one of the timeouts. Like, every time we scored, yo, he came back down and did something miraculous, man. He was putting up 
crazy numbers, but check out this dunk right here. Oh my God, beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, hey, pick it. Nice, nice pass, baby. These guys can't see me. Let's go. All right, fellas, 63 to 58. Hey, hey, we got this though. We got this. We are not going to get eliminated. Now it's 63 to 62, and I kick it over to the brow, and he never wants to finish in the paint, man. All I want to see from him is a crazy stand-up dunk. But Blake Griffin doesn't look happy with that call. He thinks that it was a straight-up call, you know, straight up and down, and he played hard defense. Let's hear what he has to say about that play right here, y'all. Man, these refs are blind, man. I promise you I didn't touch him. Yeah, I'm looking at you, man. It's crazy. Oh, all of a sudden you want to make your free throws, huh? Come on, Jameson, get back to your spot, man. Now, with nine minutes left in the third quarter, this play right here was one of the defining moments. It was either the Clippers are going to get back with a three-pointer or a two-pointer to cut the lead, but Blake Griffin misses the layup, and you know we going coast to coast, man. LeBron taught me all about that coast to coast, and I had to put a little bit of moves on Redick. Had to hit him with a nice little fake spin move, turn around, and I'm driving to the lane with a nice little left-hand layup. He can't hold me, man. Not at all. <laughs> Yo, did you guys peep? I did the you can't see me. <laughs> but check out the nice little pick and roll game with Anthony Davis. You know I'm going to throw the oop, man. Listen, I promise you, me and the brow, we link up when it's time. That's all I'm going to say. Blake Griffin, he was a whole in a whole nother area code. It looked like he didn't want no parts of that play. <laughs> but um, I will have to say this. Every time we throw an alley-oop, the Clippers always try to come back down and try to do one better. Now, check out Blake Griffin cutting to the basket. He was on the other side of the court, ran across the paint, caught it with one hand. Oh, my. It's crazy. He's too nice, man. Too nice. <laughs> now, it's five and a half minutes, so it left in the third quarter. And Jameson nails the three-pointer. Listen. I have done everything in my power to keep these guys from shooting threes. If you will notice, they have a very cheesy three-point team. Now, that dunk right there, that's my three points. That man had to sit down. But does anybody notice Reddick, Barnes, and Jameson? Like, that is a crazy core of three-point shooters right there. But this play right here ticked me off. With 4.8 seconds left in the third quarter, Roberts just decides to stop playing defense here and let Chris Paul pass him to get off the three-point shot how ticked would you be at your third string point guard like like he should be on the bench somewhere why is he in the game like the game is on the line anything could happen but we have one quarter left so let's hop into it y'all hey guys it's one quarter left it's time to show what we have we got to put it all on the line fellas all on the line cp3 i need everything from you this quarter baby all right now, you guys saw that I set the four out one in. This right here is like my special play to get an alley dude playoff. See me cutting to the basket, getting loose. Play Griffin couldn't stop it, man. Listen, if you want to catch alley oops, you have to clear it out, man. So definitely run that four out one in and let somebody else hold the ball, you know, specifically a big man. Because with a big man out of the paint, you can have so much easy time to cut to the basket. But I will say, the Clippers ain't done, man. They going to keep fighting. This game right here is an elimination game. I don't know if you know I didn't stress that enough in this game. But check out what Matt Barnes does here. Yo, when this play happened, I said the 2K cheese is real. Out the post, spin jumper. Oh, my God. I couldn't believe he nailed that. But uh, Chris Paul, look at this, man. He know exactly who to pass it to. Matt Barnes is on fire. He has 12 points in the second half. Like, what ha what happened? Like, it was so crazy. But, yo, I don't know if you guys noticed the entire game, but your boy is in foul trouble. I don't know how, I don't know where, I don't know why, but I have five fouls, and right here I do foul out of the game with 23 seconds left on the clock. Now, all I wanted to do was try to block the shot, and they gave me the foul for the three-point shot. I have never in my life gotten that foul call it's so crazy it was so epic but it is what it is i'm gonna go sit down and do what needs to be done get this win now i would do a little mic'd up feature right here from the bench but i don't want to confuse you guys all mic'd up features tonight was blake griffin nobody else i hope you guys like the little you know spin to the video and yeah you know just to talk about donald sterling real quick um 
a lot of people are probably going to ask me, am I happy? Did the NBA make the right decision? Um, to ban somebody for what he's done, you know, for all the allegations and everything like that, I feel like that's something that needed to be done. As it goes for the fine, for somebody with that amount of money, you can't try to dig in their pockets. Like, come on, what you going to ask that man for a billion? <laughs> but uh, let's get to the press conference, guys. Congratulations. You guys were able to finish off the sweep tonight. What's team morale like following such a convincing performance this round? One thing before I answer that question, I'm glad that the Clippers organization is out of the bad press with that Donald Sterling scandal. And oh, if you're looking for an owner, hit up my agent. Man, we're, we're feeling really good, man. It's hard not to have a lot of confidence after a series like that. We went in knowing it was going to be a battle, but to somehow earn a sweep? I can't tell you how impressed I am with the way my teammates stepped it up out there. I really feel like this team has everything it takes to win a championship, and we're that much closer now. Year, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.